One of the big questions we often get at our law firm is, do I have a case? And that applies to auto accidents, trip and fall, slip and fall, medical malpractice, uh, any sort of personal injury. That's one of our clients' uh, initial questions is, do I have a case? And I, I don't wanna waste anybody's time. And the initial inquiry as to whether or not there is a case circles around the issue of liability. What does that mean? Liability means who is at fault. So take, for example, an auto accident. We often see rear end collisions here in St. Petersburg, and our clients oftentimes are the victim of a severe rear end collision. Imagine sitting in a red light, waiting for it to turn green, it's still red, and out of nowhere, somebody strikes you from behind. That's a rear end collision. And in Florida, liability is clear. Our client was sitting there doing exactly what they should be doing, and the at-fault driver slammed into the back of the car. So in that case, liability is undisputed, meaning the at-fault driver is liable for the accident. Now, sometimes in auto accidents, we have questions of liability, and these arise from witness statements or perhaps statements of a potential at-fault driver. Take another example. Let's say somebody runs a red light and slams into one of our clients. Well, the police are called out and they conduct an investigation. And if they can't determine who's at fault, they will not issue a citation. But unfortunately, that doesn't necessarily matter for the insurance companies because the insurance companies will then go out and talk to witnesses and make their own decision as to who's liable. In a case of running a red light, let's say the true at-fault driver runs a red light and strikes my client. Well, that driver who ran the red light could fabricate a story to their insurance company and say, no, they had the green light. And you can see how liability in that scenario can get muddied. So this is why it is so important when we're investigating auto accidents or trip and falls or slip and falls that we determine if there are any witnesses, independent third-party witnesses, because if we can get in touch with those witnesses and get their statement that helps support our client's position as to who is liable, that at the end of the day will help prove our case and make for a stronger case. So the initial question we always look at is liability. If you have any questions regarding any sort of personal injury, auto accident, trip and fall, slip and fall, contact us immediately.